Siemens have introduced a new interface with Solid Edge 2023, so I just thought I'd go through some of the main points uh, just to get you up to speed. Um, the initial one is you'll notice that the logo has changed and um, this moves it in line with um, a more consistent um, presentation across the different products within the Siemens range. The um, sort of link to that is the um, in, in previous versions you used to use the application button to get to the main file options and um, they've now been added into a file menu um, at the top of the screen. The command finder has also been moved from the bottom right to the top right and the command prompt likewise has been moved from the bottom up to the um, top just below the ribbon bar on the left. Uh, there have also been a number of icon changes and again this is to um, align it more with uh, the likes of NX and some of the other products within the Siemens range and um, hopefully they're not too dissimilar, um, just some sort of minor changes. The um, cutout commands have been removed and now you need to go into, um, this is in the ordered environment obviously, um, you need to go into extrude or revolve and you'll see in the um, command bar uh, an add or cut option and if you switch it to the cut option in the pathfinder it will still display as cut out as opposed to protrusion. The um, predict toolbar has been um, taken away uh, for out of the box, so you'll need to put that back in um, after um, approximately six sessions in Solid Edge. It will um, just prompt you whether you want to put that back in or not. And um, if you want to just go in and put it back at any point, um, you can go into the um, options dialog and um, under helpers, you'll see there's a use predict commands. Um, option in there. The um, prediction toolbar um, is an, now a floating toolbar. Um, you just need to grab hold of the um, edge, um, the grabber bar, and move it to your defined location. And also it can be um, sort of positioned as a vertical bar just by dragging and dropping. The probably one that will affect most people is the scroll wheel behavior. Um, it's now been reversed to match more of what um, is common in other CAD products. So as you push your uh, mouse wheel forward, it will zoom out. And if you pull backwards, it will zoom in. Um, but you'll see that in the options uh, dialog box, under um, view you can uh, reverse the direction back to what it was if you want to stick with that option. Um, the command ribbon bar, pathfinder, context toolbar uh, have all been modernized. Um, you'll see there's a new icon added into the pathfinder uh, which looks a bit like an eye which allows you to um, toggle the display of something on or off and um, yeah there's a sort of hopefully a more consistent look and feel across the different environments and different products. So the vertical command bar um, it's uh, the sort of new default for solid edge um, when you enter a command it's the one that pops up um, giving you your options um, it can be positioned anywhere on the screen and um, it should snap to the window extremes. Um, unfortunately, the horizontal command bar is no longer available, so um, you'll just have to sort of bear with the new one as you go. So, um, looking at this, um, this is something that has obviously been added into um, the ordered parts, sheet metal and assembly environments. Um, it was originally added into the sketch environment in 
solid age 2022. The context toolbar holds most of the high frequency objects and um, generally they will be, um, it will come up when you right mouse click on um, Pathfinder or um, commands in the um, uh, right hand mouse button selection tools. The object selection can be done in the graphics area, uh, Pathfinder or Quick Fit and um, it brings the mo most commonly used uh, commands for whatever feature you're selecting in the Pathfinder or on the graphics display um, into a more um, defined option. Uh, support for single and multiple selections of similar and dissimilar objects um, is available and it can be turned on or off within the um, options and the helpers and uh, as you can see it's the option is called show context toolbar so the context toolbar can be moved around using the vertical gripper on the left hand side of the toolbar um, in assembly it is positioned a little bit away from the steering wheel obviously and um, it's also supported under a fence select option in assembly. Um, and finally, support for the context toolbar um, in face priority selection mode is there as well. So, here finally is just a sort of example. Um, the most common are the top three on the left. Um, if you, you generally used um, the main menu as you right mouse click, you'll see the edit definition, edit profile and dynamic edit in here, as well as the go to command. Um, and then just for this example, I've got pattern, move faces, hide, suppress, delete, um, and so on. So hopefully this gives you a quick overview I'll just go through this in the solid edge window now. So looking at that in solid edge itself um, you can see the um, icon has changed and it's just got the old standard um, restore minimize maximize close options on there. Now we have this new um, menu which um, basically takes you through um, the same sort of things as what you used to get under the application button. Um, there's a discover section which is um, all about the learning. There's a community section which has all your links to external websites and stuff. So Solid Edge on Facebook, um, Solid Edge homepage, user community and community blog are the sort of main ones. And you also have the mail recipient option here to mail the current file and pack and go um, on there as well. So under the um, new option that works um, just the same as it always used to. Under open they've added in the um, new options down the left hand side as well. So um, you can almost ignore that uh, new um, pull out entirely. And the rest is basically the same as what you would have had under the old application button. So, um, as I said, um, all the icon um, images have changed, and um, you'll see that there is no um, cutout command. So, under the extrude, um, obviously, this is in ordered. You have the add or cut option, which um, allows you to sort of toggle between. Uh, what option do you want in there? And also, while I'm showing this, you've also got the um, command bar now as a vertical command bar. And some of you may have been using this one previously anyway, um, but it works exactly the same way now as it used to in the vertical option. The predict command um, is here, I've added it back in on mine. And you've got the gripper on the left here, so you can move it around and you can just click on the side and just um, resize it to whatever you want it to be. And you can sort of dock it as it used to be up here. 
So um, scrolling um, has changed from what it used to be. Um, so um, as I said in the uh, PowerPoint, you can turn that back to the old style um, if you wish. So finally, you've got the context bar. So let's cancel out of here. Um, if I click on here, you get the um, context toolbar come up. And obviously the main ones are edit definition, edit profile, and dynamic edit. And you've got go to all there, which are the ones that used to come up on the right mouse click. Now, if you right mouse click, um, your options here are a lot less because they are embedded into this um, context bar. Um, likewise, if I click up on the feature in here, it will come up with those same options in this window. Um, you'll also see the same sort of behavior in the assembly environment. Um, if I click on um, here, you'll see the command bar, uh, context bar, which can be moved around. Alternatively, if you pick it a part in here, you get the same thing. And as I said before, um, this is actually moved away from the steering wheel so that it doesn't interfere with those um, options that you um, may have, uh, may want to do. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more of an overview into the changes in the Solid Edge 2023 user interface. And um, hopefully you can get back to um, full speed um, quite quickly.